it's the sale. Well, I messed up with the boom a little bit. Well, I think the yard is going together much easier and better than the mast, actually. Obviously very floppy at the moment because I've just test fit it. This one cracked at the end which is a bit annoying but I think uh, when I epoxy it all together I'll just put a bunch of epoxy in that crack and it'll seal it up. I know I said I wasn't going to taper it by tapering the staves that I was just going to sand it down but I'm going to taper it by tapering the staves. Now that I think about it it's going to be easier just to do it that way than to try and sand it round to the correct diameter at the ends. So I'm going to go back into the bird's mouth calculator and figure out what the stave widths should be uh, at each end and uh, get that taper going. It's a very subtle taper. I'm not sure how I'm going to manage this. I'm just going to try and freehand it with the sander. Here's a tip. Don't accidentally plane over the cord of your planer. Or you'll have to do a little repair job. I think that'll do. Well, I used the plane and the sander, and it's basically impossible to tell. But I got a pretty good taper. So, I think I'm just going to leave it at that and do any more tapering when it's uh, all glued together. This is my shame boom now. Even after gluing these pieces on the side, it's actually still a little bit thin in the middle. But, I had some of these bendy boys left over from trimming down the rub rails. Just going to glue that on the side and that'll give me the extra few millimeters that I need to take the boom out to its proper thickness and hopefully not be bent. Will this correct my folly? My dowel is too big. It's kind of hot. Still too big. Yeah, having the sandpaper clamped too tight breaks the dowel. So I did a bit of an experiment on how to most optimally put the epoxy glue in the grooves. Got this little test boy here fits together much better than the mast actually. Practice. And I tested a few different ways of putting the goo in there. And what I came up with was if you just fill this groove and then get something like this and then just smear it down so that really there's only a bit in sort of the bottom third of this groove. That's enough so when you compress the staves together it will squeeze out and it will fill out all the gaps. So it should enable me to do this a lot quicker than when we glued up the mast. And it took us like two or three hours or something with this fella. I should just be able to get it all on really quick and get it all together. That takes so long to do. Okay, well I've got my staves here and they're in order. I'll get my cable tie, which I'm going to use to capture the ends. Cannot forget, I have this uh, inner core which just goes in the end. So I need to make sure this is 
So that did. Not playing for it, it's too tight. Well, I can't reach in there, so hopefully there's enough glue. Just putting these cable ties on temporarily. I will be using the hose clamps as before. Aligned horizontally and vertically. Note to self. Don't forget how much of a pain in the ass that is next time. Now I'll just go through and tighten up all the hose clamps and that'll be that. I've planed the yard down to an octagonal shape and uh, it's pretty nice and straight. There's a very slight bend in it. So I've marked the sides and I need to drill holes in uh, each end of the yard for attaching the sail to. And uh, I'm going to be a little bit more precise about the hole than I was on the mast. So I've got the drill press here. That's the yard done for now. All rounded and sanded. Nice little rounded ends. Got the holes drilled. So this is just waiting on its uh, coat of epoxy or its coats. So it'll go up there with the mast. And we'll finish shaping the boom. Boom. That was stupid. I used the laser beam to mark a center line on the boom and on the other side. And I made certain that they are even with each other, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Then I went along and I marked the width of the boom here all the way along relative to this center line. So everything outside these lines needs to come off. Because I used the laser beam. What could go wrong? If I used the laser, it should be good. Laser! Well, that's as straight as I can be bothered getting the boom, I think. It's got a slight bend to it, but I don't think that'll really matter. I guess not. I don't know. It's still better than it was before. It's still a lot better. So it's time to drill the holes in the boom. This is the forward end of the boom, and we have the hole here running side to side through. And here's the aft end of the boom. I'll zoom in on that. The hole runs from top to bottom. So I need to make sure that I get those right. Time to get drilling. Got a nicely round over all the edges on the boom. Just give it a nice smooth appearance. We got one of these little round over bit and uh, she'll be good. Well, there's a basically finished boom. There's still a couple little places where there wasn't quite enough epoxy filler in and I need to put a little bit more in just to um, smooth it out, but I think I'll deal with that uh, extra epoxy when I'm epoxying all the spars. So I think the boom's done for now. Pretty straight. 100%. We're pretty good. Good enough.